Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shubhaz Dadazela, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode within my Nerdy Wednesday, uh, Nerdy Wednesday thing that I do. <laughs> Every Wednesday I just do a video on Nerdio. Um, obviously it was announced a few weeks ago now, two or three weeks ago maybe, that um, uh, I am back in the Nerdio MVP program. Super psyched to be part of that community. Um, <clears throat> I was, I was, I was, one of three who, who were initially launched as part of the program back in only four years ago, um, which was in Cancun, Mexico, at NerdioCon. So yeah, really happy to be part of it. It's a massive community now, like almost 30 MVPs globally. Um, but myself and my colleague from Cuba, is George, we're the only two within this region in Australia, New Zealand. Um, Anzac, I think they call it. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Um, so yeah, so look, last episode, last last Nerdio Wednesday. This is the last <coughs> Nerdio Wednesday uh, in this format where I'm just doing demos and stuff like that. We're changing it up. I'll be announcing that <coughs> in, the next, in the next few days, all being well. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be joined by, you know, the, the, me and someone else, to, uh, with, with, you know, doing the Nerdio videos. Uh, Nerdio Wednesday will still be a thing, but it's going to be different and I'll, I'll be launching that soon. Um, so yeah, a bit of a collaboration. Uh, I thought it's always fun to collaborate, and I think we'll, you know the, the collaboration is going to be interesting because we're just going to be talking about all things EUC, EUC, okay, and uh, that includes Nerdio, obviously. Um, so last episode went through a lot of the Intune integration and kind of showed the differences and, and you know the management differences between the Intune native and and, and uh, Nerdio Enterprise uh, on Nerdio for Manager for Enterprise. So today we're actually going to go into a bit more. Um, infrastructure let's just say so i'm actually going back to um yeah, azure virtual desktop so within workspaces here this is where we can start to manage um our avd environment so you, normally you tend to have a single workspace within your tenant um and this is where you can actually deploy your dynamic host pools or your static host pools from or you can assign people so from here you go to dynamic host pools and then you could create a new host pool i've got an existing one for my, um, my personal host pool that I use, uh, mainly for video editing really. It's a nice beefy one, as you can see, 16 core, six, 64 gig of RAM, so. Um, and this so this is the actual host pool for it, right? So within here, you've obviously, you can manage the actual, um, you go to like the three dots here. From a host pool management perspective, you can manage user and groups, any custom tags, do the auto scaling. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll save auto scaling for, for the new format. There's loads of features, you know, we can talk about with Nerdio, but we'll get a bit more technical um, in the in that new format. But you know, auto scale, configure auto scaling so they can actually look at your host. I can add a new host. I can restart my host. I can power on my host. Um, so I'm actually going to look, I'm just actually going to power my host on because it's, it's just not powered on right now. Um, so this is going to power on. If I had multiple hosts, it'd power them all on, but I'm only going to, so this is what I got one host, it'll power that on. If we go back, manage the host here. Again, we can exclude it from auto scaling, activate it, deactivate it, delete them all if we need. And um, we can send a message to users if we're, you know, doing some maintenance or disconnect any users. And again, <clears throat> I want to try and show, what I'm trying to show here is the differences in management. So this is, this is my, my, um, this is my, if I go back here, sorry, this is my workspace. Um, click on my workspace here. So a couple of clicks already. Um, but here I'm, 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 okay, I've got some manager application groups. Okay, is that my host pool? Is that how I can, okay, is that, yeah, I think that's my app group for my host pool. So it's, it's very different. I have to actually go back. I can't, you know, it's, it's really different in the, I have to actually go to host pools, to manage my host pools. Okay, here they are. Go into my host pool. Okay, so this is where I can do my registry key. I can start. I can start my host pool. I can restart it. Okay. Uh, oh, there's my scaling plans. But again, there's a massive difference between Nerdio's. For me, Nerdio's much better auto scaling than, than native scaling plans. Uh, I've got my RDB properties here. You know, I actually want to manage my VM. Okay, so I'm go here. I want to, I want to restart. Or I want to update something on my VM. Go here. How many clicks I'm on now? About five, six. Oh yeah, got here. Okay, cool. All right, so I can start to manage my VM. If we go here, look, I can actually manage my host here. So, look, 
company size it if I want, a company start it. I don't have to go to, literally I got here in one, two clicks. There we go, go to my host, do what I need to do. Now I can actually go into my host pool and take it a step further. So this is my VM and I can be a lot more granular with the VM configuration here. So I can power it on, it's powering on at the moment, or it should be. Um, probably refresh, that'll probably show us turned on. Might take a few minutes. Anyway, um, and then I can, you know, so I can power it on, I can generate an RDP file, which you can't do in the last window. And um, I'm not sure if you can do this through, through native as well, to be honest with you. I think you'd have to go to uh, connect and bastion and you could probably do the RDP file from here. Um, you could go to connect and you could probably, again, you know, I have to go connect, I think it's here. Yeah, you download RDP file. So again, you've got to go into like the bastion configuration, whereas here it's just available through the management. It's all, all the management capabilities for, for managing your AVD host pools here. Um, resize it, re-image it if you wanted to. One, one, one of my favorites is, is running scripts. I, lo I love the interactions with um, the scripted actions. So again, we can either schedule a script or we can run it now. Um, and we can just choose what script one runs loads. And then you can add custom scripts if you want. Um, do you want to do the setup, initial setup, or do you want to reinstall the AVD agent, or do you want to shrink our FS Logics profile? We can do all sorts from here, right? Um, we can request logs if we want. So especially if we're if we're dealing with support, you know, they might request logs. We can request them here, and just select what do we actually want reports for. You know what? This is actually a, I'm having issues with. Um, just I need to look at the Azure activity logs. I don't actually need to look at anything else, but okay. That'll generate the logs. You can send them to Spot. You can review them yourself, right? So again, you'd have to go into your log analytics to do that normally. Um, you can exclude it from auto scaling as well. Um, so again, a lot of granular. And if you just click on that, it'll take you to the actual, it'll take you to the portal, the Azure portal, right? Um, and also, again, we can actually add a new host from here as well. So again, <clears throat> this is where it's going to run um, how many hosts we want to add, give it a host name, obviously associate with all the right um, desktop image and, and VM size and OS disk, etc. And that'll just deploy a new host within your host pool. So again, the, you can just see the difference between managing um, host pools in Nerdio and virtual machine, you know, your, your session host in Nerdio compared to managing them in, uh, in, in natively. It's just a lot more powerful. It's a lot more easier to do. Um, and like I said, you're just, you're just saving a lot more, a lot more time on management really. Um, so again, just wanted to, again, I'm trying to, in this last two episodes, I'm trying to show you the differences between the native version of, of managing certain things and doing it in Nerdio and just how much easier it is within Nerdio. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's going to give you a bit of insight in, into how, how you can manage host pools and session hosts. Like I said, this is the last video within this format. We're going to be changing it up. I will be launching that later this week uh, after this video. This video is going to be next couple of weeks time. Uh, so anyway, I've got lots of useful links in the description. I've got a link to Nerdio's documentation. I've also got a link to uh, my uh, members um, kind of area where you can become a member level one, level two, or level three and get access to all my Microsoft exam content, all the fundamental stuff, uh, you know, AZ900, MS900. I've got a lot of security stuff around AS SC300. I've also got SC, what used to be SC100, which is of the, the architect level exam. A lot more exam stuff to come. So I've got some labs in there and, and, and stuff like that as well. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.